What's going on everybody? Ronnie DiMaggio here, product specialist at BMW of Morristown. And in today's video, we are doing a walk around and overview with this 2023 BMW iX. Now, this is not your everyday iX because we've already done a video on the xDrive 50 version of the iX. If you want to check that out, we'll link to it here in this little pop-out card. This is the iX M60. So the iX uh, currently in the United States at least comes in two flavors. You have the entry-level iX50, xDrive 50, and then you have the M60. So just like all models in the current BMW lineup, you have an entry level, an M performance, and in many cases, an M model. So the iX doesn't have a full blown M model yet, like an iX M. However, it does have that M performance model. That's what we have right here in the iX M60. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the styling, what's different for the M60. We'll talk about the powertrain, some of the performance figures, and of course, we will hop inside, show you the trunk, rear seat space, as well as the front seat area give you a nice thorough tour of the iX M60. All right, so generally in our videos with gas-powered cars, this is where we would pop the hood and show you what's going on under the hood as far as engines go. Of course, iX, fully electric car, no engine uh, to be seen or talked about. Instead, we have a 111.5 kilowatt hour battery pack and dual electric motors creating an all wheel drive vehicle. 610 horsepower and a massive 749 pound feet of torque that all comes together for zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds in the ix m60 no shifting to be done no gears to cycle through it is all instant torque out of the dual electric motors uh, lithium ion batteries 111 kilowatt hour battery pack like we said so those are sort of the mechanical aspects of the iX M60, and I just want to say how impressive it is. First of all, 750 pound-feet of torque is a massive number. That is a huge, huge number, bigger than any, bigger torque figure than any gas-powered BMW um, that we have seen. And 3.6 seconds to 60 for a nearly three-ton SUV. This car weighs 5,700 pounds. Obviously, it's you know being an M60, it's very powerful, but it's still a luxury-focused SUV. So those numbers in a luxury electric vehicle really 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 impressive so those are the performance numbers for the ix and let's go ahead and get started talking about styling so you can see on the front end the ix m60 doesn't differ too drastically from the standard ix in fact unlike some other uh, you know, differences between an M performance car and an M car, the iX M60 actually shares the same front end with the entry level when equipped with the Sportline. So same Sportline bumper from the iX xDrive 50 is found on the iX M60. That does include these nice looking areas that are sort of designed to emulate what would be like a side air intake on a gas powered car. You have something similar looking to that on the iX M60 here on both sides in a nice black plastic blends in really well. Obviously this car is black, so it blends in quite a bit, but you do still have an actual vent here that is functional. You can see right through that on the left and right side of the bumper there. You have your really big vertical kidney grill, which is of course a big topic of conversation with the iX that a lot of people notice immediately when they first see the car. It was a bit controversial when the iX first came out, the same grill, or a similar one is found on four series models and things like that. Uh, but I think it fits this car really well. This is a very forward-thinking, avant-garde sort of car anyway, being BMW's first, you know, real entry into the full electric luxury SUV segment. So a really bold design on the front end with this grill, which is self-healing. Interesting little fun fact. Uh, if you get a little rock chip in there and expose it to sunlight or heat, it will kind of heal itself. Uh, so that's the grill. You do have a nice big opening below the grill to sort of add some dimension to the front end styling. You of course have BMW laser lights, which look really nice as far as daytime running lights go and of course light up the way really, really well. When it's dark out, these laser lights will give you incredible visibility. And rounding out the front end styling is of course our BMW roundel, which does pop open to allow you to put windshield washer fluid in the car. You can see it pops open right there and it is trimmed in the signature BMW i blue color. So that's the front end styling. Let's move around to the side of the car. 
All right, so along the side of the iX, again, it is very similar to the xDrive 50. Not too many things on the outside to differentiate the two. However, one nice little differentiator is this really nice bronze trim that you see on the windows here. You get touches, it, touches of it in the wheel along the window line here, as well as around the door handles. That looks really nice. Speaking of the wheels, we can take a quick look at these. So it's a 275 40 22 tire, so 22 inch wheel. Uh, so the iX is capable of up to 288 miles of range in M60 trim. Um, and the wheels are the big thing that affect that. So choose your wheels wisely if you are looking to maximize range. But these 22s look pretty cool for an uh, EV wheel. EV wheels often have very flat faces, very little concavity, very closed designs, not super open, like something you would expect out of like an M wheel. But I think BMW has done a good job of incorporating the benefits of an EV specific wheel, as well as making it, you know, stylish, making it look cool with those gold accents, the little M badge. You can see your blue painted calipers in there. Like I said, gold trim or bronze trim around the door handles, as well as up the side of the car. And then finally, as we reach the back, that gold trim kind of tapers into gloss black where you have a nice high X badge there on the C pillar. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it for the side of the IX. Not a ton going on here, like I said. Relatively subtle design, pretty subdued, not really bold like the front end is. And I think that kind of plays into BMW's strong suits. They've always done silhouettes, side angles, uh, profile uh, designs very, very well. The shapes are always there in BMW designs. I think that's true of the iX as well. It is a different shape, obviously being an EV, it's not shaped quite as traditionally as like an X5 would be as far as SUV go, SUVs go, but I think it's a very good looking side angle nonetheless. So let's move around to the back to finish up the styling. All right, so around back of the iX is where you'll find one of my favorite design elements of the iX, and where you'll also find that I think it's a very good looking angle on this car, but Let's talk about that one design element that I really like personally. That would be the clear taillights. So this is on the M60. All M60s get the clear taillights and Sportline X-Drive 50 models also get these really cool looking clear taillights. Uh, kind of a smoky, clear look to them. Really, really nice. Kind of reminds me of older Japanese uh, like JDM cars with, I think they call them Alteza taillights, tail like the clear taillights. Just a cool, sporty, kind of sleek looking taillight. Really glad BMW has gone that direction with the Sportline and M60 versions of the iX. Otherwise, styling wise, you do have a nice rear spoiler up on the top here to add a little bit of a sporty flair to the iX, some dimension to that rear end, extend the roof line a little bit, make it look a little bit sleeker. Really, really big and prominent BMW roundel with the camera integrated there and the blue BMW i signature blue circling the roundel. And then finishing off the styling in the back, you have a, again, relatively subtle, it's trimmed in black, nothing crazy going on, but a nice looking lower bumper portion in the, what would be a diffuser area. You do have some little cutouts with your reflectors on either side and some little fins extending down there to add a little bit of something to look at back there. But overall, really nice looking rear end on the iX. I think the straight on rear, uh, maybe the rear three quarter is the best looking angle for the iX. Uh, again, mostly because of these clear tail lights, which I really like. But anyway, that'll do for the styling. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk and hop in the back seat to check out some of the practicality elements. All right, so around back of the iX, let's go ahead and pop the tailgate, get an idea of what the space is like back here. Now we have our front plate bracket, our charging cable and stuff back here. So it is a little bit occupied, but as you can see, plenty of space in the back of the iX. Obviously the iX being an SUV is catered a little bit more towards practicality than something like an i4 or an i7 sedan would be. So definitely enough cargo capacity for the vast majority of use cases here in the iX. And if we pop this open, we have a very deep, just to kind of give you an idea of how deep it is, you can take a look at this part of the charging cable and I can pretty much fit it completely in there. So plenty of space underneath as well for some smaller stowaway items and good cargo capacity all around. Interesting little piece about the iX. Hopefully we can see this, uh, if we can point a little bit towards these tail lights. So you can see they actually integrated a separate tail light in the kind of back of the car here. And if I lock or unlock the car, you see these blink. That is regulatory. Just a little fun fact about the iX because 
Tail lights cannot be on a movable piece of bodywork like the trunk. Otherwise, uh, you know, if they are like they are on the iX, you have to integrate a tail light into a fixed piece of bodywork when the trunk's open. So, fun little automotive design fun fact for you there. But that's going to do it for the trunk. Let's go ahead and hop in the back seat. All right, so let's hop in the back seat here, get an idea of what sort of space we're dealing with in the back for rear seat passengers. So. One of the most impressive things about the iX when I first uh, kind of encountered one, played around with one, was the amount of room in the back seat here. This is uh, pretty significantly further back than my driving position. Um, I was not the last person driving this car, and I'm sitting back here, even with it in a more further back, the front seat here in a more further back position than where I would sit at 510. I have, you know, plenty of knee room here. I can put my feet all the way out underneath the seat. Headroom, not a problem at all. I have, you know, four or five inches of headroom. So really spacious back seat. It also feels very roomy because there is no center tunnel uh, for drivetrain components like there would be in a gas powered or rear wheel drive based platform SUV. So plenty of space in the back here. Nice, comfortable bench seat with heated seats. Uh, and independent climate controls in the back as well. You have USBs, four USB-Cs in the back of the iX here. So really nice back seat. One of my favorite things about the iX, one of the things that impressed me and surprised me about it the most when I first sort of checked it out. So that'll do it for the back seat. Let's go ahead and hop up front and talk about what's going on in the cockpit area. All right, so here we are inside the front seat area of the 23 iX M60. Again, the trend continues, not a ton to differentiate the M60 from the xDrive 50. Really what you're paying for there, where your money is going, is for that straight line performance, that uh, 750 pound-feet of torque, 3.6 seconds to 60. That's what you're getting with the M60. Now, uh, there are some benefits with the M60. Of course, there are more standard features. Really, the only option on the M60 version of the iX are blue seat belts, if you are interested in that. And the executive package for only $3,000 is packed with value. It includes glass and wood controls. So that is the cool wood you see down here, as well as the glass iDrive controller, soft closed doors, traffic jam assistant, active lane keep assist with side collision avoidance, active cruise with stop and go parking assistance professional, and active driving assistant pro are all lumped into the executive package for a mere $3,000. So really good value with the executive package. This car is of course equipped with the executive package. Uh, kind of a no-brainer there on the iX M60, but besides that, uh, as well as I believe there's one trim color option regarding the gold bronze trim on the outside, those are really the only options on the M60, which means it's super, super well equipped in its base standard form. Let's talk a little bit about styling in the iX front, you know, interior area, because I think that is probably the thing that is most unique compared to other BMW models. For one, the iDrive 7, uh, iDrive 8, I'm, I'm sorry, screen here is kind of a floating design. It's a little bit more unique than it is in like X7 3 Series. It feels like it's more planted, integrated into the dashboard, which I know many people favor. However, as far as the iX goes, again, we're, we're looking for a bold design, a more forward-thinking, modern, minimalist interior. They knocked it out of the park with the screen here really does look like it's floating from where I'm sitting right here in the driver's seat. I can't see where it attaches to the dashboard. So really cool screen design there. And you also get the really um, kind of unique shy tech that BMW is integrating in the iX as well as the 7 Series. So your iDrive controller buttons are kind of hidden into this wood trim, which is backlit. We're filming this a little bit later, less daylight, uh, which is good uh, at least. So you can see the shy tech at night, which looks really, really nice. So as you see, the shy tech looks really nice, kind of a new first for BMW. It's making its way into the 7 Series, uh, the new 2023 7 Series, and we'll probably see it in some other upcoming models as well. As far as other design elements with the iX, like we said, we have the screen, the shy tech, and another big departure from traditional BMWs is the totally open floor area in the iX. As you can see, there is nothing separating the driver's passenger, uh, the driver's footwell from the passenger's footwell. Again, no drivetrain components down there, no transmission to contend with as far as 
packaging and space goes, no drive shaft, no differentials, nothing like that. Um, at least no, none of that stuff in this area. So really nice space down in the lower area of the uh, front seat area. And that adds to a sort of airy, spacious feeling in the front of the iX. So those are the key design elements. Some other really nice design elements are the steering wheel, obviously unique for BMW. Unique shape, it's not a wheel at all, it's not circular. It is, you know, sort of a um, unique shape for the steering wheel, but it still has a solid nine and three grip. If you wanna do some performance driving, it is sort of canted a little bit inward, so it brings your elbows a little bit closer to your ribs if you're driving in that nine and three position, but it's still plenty comfortable. 10 and two is really nice because it's kind of the opposite of that. Uh, so 10 and 2 feels great. Of course, I always like these two two-spoke steering wheels because you can always rest your hand down at the bottom right there, which feels really nice. Flat top and bottom, so great grips all around as far as the wheel goes. Um, some other interesting design elements are the seats, which are, for one, supremely comfortable, really, really soft very heavily cushioned on the bottom, really sink into them. Unlike uh, some other BMW seats, these are definitely unique for the iX and in a good way, they're super comfortable and of course, highly adjustable. You have your standard adjustment on the door and then if you press the seat control button, you can see we can adjust the bolsters, the uh, pitch of the lower portion, the um, tilt of the backrest, all of that good stuff. So overall, I think the iX interior is really, really nice. It matches the characteristic of the car very well. It's a very forward-thinking car, very forward-thinking feeling interior to match. Um, everything works really well. iDrive 8 works great. Say what you will about the way it looks. I know a lot of people don't uh, love the way it looks. Totally understand that viewpoint. It is very new. It is very unique. Um, but for cars like this that are, that are pushing the boundary, pushing the envelope as far as design goes, I think the screen works really well, even in like the 3 Series X7 traditional BMW models. I think it works well there as well, but uh, definitely works in the iX. Super snappy and responsive, so uh, lots to like in the interior here. Um, but that's going to do it for the inside. Let's hop outside and we'll wrap up. All right, so that's going to do it for this walk around and overview of the 2023 BMW iX M60. Overall, very similar to the iX xDrive 50. Uh, you can just kind of think of the M60 as a lot more power, uh, really, really big power numbers, fast acceleration, and all of that good equipment that you would want in an xDrive 50 is lumped in as standard fare for the M60. So lots of really nice standard equipment, as well as lots of straight line performance. That is the deal with the iX M60. Overall, I think this is an awesome entry for BMW into this segment. Um, we know that some other people also think that because Mercedes just came out with the EQS, uh, the EQE, the Cadillac Lyric, uh, but the iX beat them to the market. So um, the iX is a great luxury SUV. Um, it feels great to drive, drives really, really smooth, looks really nice. Obviously the looks are very subjective. Um, so if you disagree, please feel free to uh, and let us know in the comments why you might disagree. But um, overall, I think the iX looks nice. It drives nice. It is well equipped. It is a really strong um, contender for BMW in this new segment. So that will do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate you watching. And we also would appreciate if you liked the video, if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it. We appreciate all of those things. And we appreciate your continued support with the channel, liking, commenting, subscribing. That is all really awesome. So uh, thank you for watching. Please follow us on uh, our other socials at BMW of Morristown, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Uh, and let us know in the comments if you have any questions about the iX or anything in in BMW world. We are here to help. Let us know in the comments and we will get back to you. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.